Hello, we are Moby, and we are launching electric bike schemes across the UK and Ireland. And our first launch is now live in Dublin. My previous venture, Yvolution, was responsible for a product called the Flickr Scooter, which was a very successful product. But what is not so well known is that this was in fact an Irish product. And we took that product and sold it internationally and created a whole brand behind it. We grew that company to almost $60 million within three years. I was the founder and CEO of that company. And after five years of doing it, I got excited about micro mobility and I wanted to move on to the next challenge. Dublin is the 14th most congested city in the world and the sixth most congested in Europe. This is costing our Irish economy 1.8 billion euro per year in lost productivity. Electric bike sharing schemes are a key part of the solution to this problem, whereby a fleet of 1,000 electric bikes can replace up to 10,000 car journeys a day. An astonishing 70% of car journeys taken are for distances less than 8 kilometers, the perfect distance by electric bike. So how does it work? You download the Mobi app from the App Store and set up an account. Use the app to find a bike, scan the QR code, this unlocks the bike and now you're ready to ride. The electric motor means you arrive fresher than when you left and feeling great, but you're not tired or sweaty. At the end of your journey, you drop the bike at any Sheffield stand in your city and your account will be charged for the time you use the bike. So last year, our company Moby won a license from the Dublin City Council to operate an electric bike sharing scheme in Dublin. And we were about to launch this year in April when coronavirus hit. We then did a slight pivot and spent the month of April giving out our electric bikes to healthcare workers instead. The idea being that they could avoid having to use public transport to get to work. So after our campaign ended with the healthcare workers, we did actually start putting some bikes on the street in order to start testing operations. We were blown away by the results. Despite not having tourists and not having a commuting population in the city, we were actually way ahead of where we had hoped to be in a non-coronavirus world. People literally just started using the bikes, way more than we had hoped, and we did zero marketing. Since May, with only 70 bikes operating, we've already had more than 10,000 journeys and over 4,000 customers have signed up to our app. And we're still only in pilot mode, with a tiny fleet. Our revenue per bike per day is way ahead of what we had hoped. So we haven't actually gone ahead and done a formal launch yet, as we are waiting to have a much larger fleet. But despite that, we have had quite a bit of traction in the press. Electric bikes are more popular traditionally in other cities. It's proven they're more popular than regular bikes. So more people use them, and so we get more revenue. Uh, we think Dublin is an ideal city to launch Moby bikes. Historically, the city has suffered from bad infrastructure and is among the most congested in Europe. Over 7% of people and commuters in Dublin use their bikes. We expect this to rise up to 40 or 50% over the coming years in parallel with the investment in, in cycling infrastructure in the city. Micromobility is a really, really quick growing space. Some of the micromobility companies have reached 100 million journeys in half the time that it took Uber to get to that same milestone. The Irish context is really an untapped market, so I'll definitely be investing when crowdfunding goes live. I use Moby Bikes because I don't want to own my own electric bike out of fear of it being stolen. My only options are a taxi, my own car, or a bus, and none of those are quick or cheap. The best thing is it saves me nearly an hour every day. Moby is a client of Enterprise Ireland and also has EIIS approval, which means that investors get 40% of their investment back in year one. If we get our fleet to 1,500 units in Dublin, we can expect to have revenues of up to 7 million euro. If you invest in Moby, whether it's 100 euro or 100,000 euro, you could see a return of five times your initial investment and potentially much more if we expand to more cities. Enedu specializes in data analytics for micromobility operators. Our solutions enable the operators to be profitable. We've done some analytics on Moby's performance and we're very impressed with what we've found. And it compares very well compared to operators around Europe. It's a really good start and it's unusual for an operator at this stage. We have recently raised investment from some very well respected Irish investors. As an investor, I want back great founders, but I also want to ride a wave, and I believe we're at the start of a huge wave in shared micromobility services. I've known Thomas for a long time. He and his team are more than capable of making this happen. And as an early investor in Moby, I'm unbelievably excited to see them expand the cities all over the world. We really like the idea of our customers being our investors and they can share in the success of Ireland's first electric bike sharing scheme and help to improve mobility in our city. The funding will be used to buy more bikes and put them on the street, 
grow our operations team in order to manage the larger fleet, and then we will invest in user growth and brand. So, to summarise, Moby Bikes are a sustainable transport solution that eases congestion, improves public health and cuts carbon emissions. A tested and proven product in a fast-growing customer and VC market, backed by a strong team with a proven track record, successfully piloted with a licence to operate 1,000 electric bikes in Dublin City, supported by Enterprise Ireland and EIIS approved, which means investors get 40% of their investment back in year one. All we need now is the capital injection to ignite our growth. Be part of the future of mobility in our cities. Invest in Moby from €100 Euro up via Spark crowdfunding today. Moby, join the movement.